Hello, I am Mare. This is Nightmare Bliss, and it is early in the morning, and I'm recording, so I'm kind of a mess. This is me. I keep it real on my channel. I don't always look perfect, and most of the time I don't. And I have a whole desk full of white bottles, strange containers, things like this, and all of these little things. We are going to talk about native today. This is a little bit different for me. If you are new here, welcome. I am a retired makeup artist, esthetician, nail tech, no, I didn't do these, but I love them. And hairstylist. And now I live on a mountain in the middle of nowhere where I am a private professional dog groomer. I transition from person hair to dog hair and I like it a lot more, okay? The dogs don't need to tell me their life story. Anyway, I like to do unboxings, review things that I think are just great products and some not so great products and if they're not I will tell you because I am very honest and I don't like wasting my money. I am very earth friendly. I also focus on only vegan independent makeup. It has to be cruelty free. If you are curious about what makes something vegan or not vegan, if there's enough interest I'll do that in a video someday but there are already so many videos out there in case you're wondering that's why I've never talked about it. There's already so much out there but I do want to talk about native because I had gotten away from using I think it was like secret like the deodorants that have aluminum and all the things in them you don't want. I'm trying to avoid anything that will cause any problem in this region, if you know what I'm saying. Years and years ago, I switched over from using the things that had aluminum and all the bad stuff in it with deodorants to using all natural. I have ones that I love, but I wanted to try something that I didn't need to order online and wait for it to ship here. So I was at Target one day, I decided I was going to try Native, which you probably have heard of. A lot of people talk about it online. A lot of YouTubers have Native codes. editing me here. I just wanted to come back and say, if you are not familiar with Native, I want to stress that their parent company is Procter & Gamble, P&G. Okay, uh, how can I say this really quickly and easily because I'm just editing. A lot of people don't want to buy, even if it's something eco-friendly and good, they don't want to buy it from a parent company that tests on animals or that has non-vegan products. I did look up all the information on native on ethical elephant if you look up ethical elephant online they are one of my favorite resources for researching brands but i thought it was important to talk about this brand because the other natural deodorants and things that i use are very very expensive there's one deodorant that i love and i love to get it's 24.99 for one deodorant i've been using it for about two years and I, it's just a lot it's very expensive i have to order it it's made in California. It's a small company. I love it. I don't break out from it. I don't have a problem with it. This is very expensive. And I have talked about it on my videos in the past, but I know a lot of people can't afford that. So I wanted to give you an option. There is the camp of vegan cruelty-free people who are like, I will not buy this because Procter & Gamble owns it. I hear you. I understand you. If you don't want to buy it, don't buy it. But for the people who are maybe looking for something a little bit more sustainable, earth-friendly, and without all the harsh ingredients and all the ickiness in it, non-aluminum, non-paraben, non-phthalate, you know, phthalate-free, all that, Native is very affordable. They have it at Target. And honestly, I've always hated Procter & Gamble. Okay, not going to lie. I hate most of the stuff they do. <laughs> But a lot of times it's hard to avoid it. It's so hard to avoid, especially if you're on a budget. To be truly cruelty-free, vegan, sustainable, across the board, 100%, takes a certain level of, um, how can I say, privilege. <laughs> I'll just say privilege. Privilege. You have to have money. You have to be able to afford this stuff. Native is a good option. It's really nice to say, I can afford to be very picky and make sure that a parent company doesn't test on animals and all that. A lot of times the smaller indie companies, they are more expensive and there's reasons why. I'm not going to go into all that here, but if you do not want to buy something that is owned by Procter & Gamble, then this brand probably isn't for you. But a lot of you out there, if you're looking for something that's a little bit earth-friendly, body-friendly, eco-friendly, more sustainable, at least Procter & Gamble is going in that direction. So I'll give them 
very tiny. I'll, I'll, I'll give them a thumbs up for that because this brand, Native, is great. Can they just get rid of all their other crap and just do Native? That's all I'm saying. But I did want to just put that right up front. I didn't say that in the video and I'm editing and I'm like, I was going to put the ethical elephant link. I'm like, I need to say this because I don't want people to come in and say, you know, they're owned by Procter & Gamble. Yes. Okay. They're owned by Procter & Gamble. Not everyone can afford some of these very expensive indie brands. And yes, I have bought many, many, many deodorants from people on Etsy who hand make them. I had to throw every one of them out. They made me break out. So if you want to hear my view on Native and how it works, this is not the video for me to talk about the ethical thing of what Procter & Gamble does and doesn't do. This is just what works on my body for me not breaking out. And I need a deodorant that makes me not smell, control my sweat, and not break out. And this works. So if you're interested in all of that, keep watching. Thank you for your kind attention. This is the first one I bought. This was the Sensitive Formula and it's aluminum free and baking soda free. The reason I want to talk about this, a lot of the natural deodorants, I am the person that has problems with them. I had so many of them that made me break out in hives. My whole underarms would be itching. I'd have hives everywhere. I really have a problem with baking soda in these things just because something's natural. I think I've said this before in my videos because I'm very into natural stuff. Just because it's natural doesn't mean it can't mess with you. If people are allergic to natural things, I'm a allergic to most natural stuff. Let's talk about this native, shall we? So if you're interested in this, I am going to go over all of the stuff that I just got because they have a big sale going on right now. It's like 30% off. Of, it's a great time to stock up. I stocked up on some stuff because I really like the scents that they have right now. So this is sensitive formula. I got this at Target. You can get native at Target, but when they have the big 30% off sales on their website, it's actually worth it to stock up and get everything on the website. And I don't know if I did free shipping with this or not. Anyway, this is the first deodorant next to a very expensive one that I found. I can only get it online. I would have to order in advance and make sure I had a backup because you run out. And it's kind of a pain when you have to buy your deodorant only online, right? So I wanted something I could get at a local store at Target, preferably. I thought, well, let me try the native. So I got Cotton and Lily Sensitive. Let me tell you, I can be a sweaty Betty at times, especially working outside. And this stuff really worked for me. I have tried three different kinds of the native deodorant and I have never broken out, which is saying a lot because for mm, about seven years, I have tried every form of natural deodorant. Sadly, I probably wasted about 50 or $60 on deodorants I couldn't wear because I kept breaking out in hives. So this says our sensitive formula is made without baking soda. It says without BS, baking soda that is, but it's still strong enough to keep odor at bay all day. Armpits rejoice. Ingredients are very minimal in this. And they use tapioca starch instead of baking soda, which seems to be great. I don't have a problem with it. It's very simple. And I love the packaging of these. They're really nice. This is almost gone, but Cotton and Lily is very light. It's um, a nice clean scent. I love all their scents. They're not like chemical like I like that I saw that they had a sale going on and they had they have these bulk sales sometimes so I thought these three next I also got shampoo I didn't bring my shampoo in here because I got a backup during the sale because I like it so much this is a moisturizing shampoo and I also notice that it doesn't make my hair color fade out, which is pretty impressive. But let's talk about the deodorants first, and then we'll go into the body products. This is Baked by Melissa Tie-Dye Vanilla Cupcake, inspired by the magical sweet treats of this beloved New York City-based brand. This was a limited edition collection. I think this one was on sale, so I grabbed it, and I'm like, tie-dye cupcake in my armpits? I don't know about this. Actually, really, really good. This is not a baking soda-free one. The Sensitive is the only one that's baking soda-free, but I decided, let me try this and see if I have any problems with it. And I am happy to report this tie-dye cupcake smell. Okay, you might think having a tie-dye cupcake under your armpit is weird. This stuff smells so good. <laughs> I'm not kidding. How many times do you just take a deodorant and you're like, no, it smells really, really good. But this was a limited edition. I don't know if you can still get this, but I grabbed it because I thought that's weird and I want to try it. Happily, I started out with the sensitive, had no problems. I tried this, no problems. And I'm almost out of the sensitive. So the ones I have been using since then are tie-dye cupcake. And then I segued into the fall scents. Now this is where it gets really good. And this is the reason for this video. 
I am so in love with the fall scents and then I got a couple of the winter ones too. For fall they had warm cider and cinnamon and this is also paraben free aluminum free but not the sensitive form. You can get these in sensitive I believe also. I think the scents all come in sensitive too. I'm not having a problem with it but check out their sensitive formula and maybe try that first and then I'm going to make a suggestion for you if you stay tuned I'll tell you what you can do to try these. The warm cider and cinnamon holy crap my favorite scent in the world. It is so good. I don't know how to explain it. It's it's like not as, it's not real harsh on the cinnamon. So if you're not a fan of cinnamon, I wouldn't get this one, but it's also not real harsh on cinnamon. It really has like that warm fall scent to it. I've been wearing this one, trying to finish up the sensitive. On days I'm just in the mood and in a sweets mood, I wear tie-dye vanilla cupcake. Most of the fall days, I've been wearing the warm cider and cinnamon. The next flavor, flavor? <laughs> it's a flavor, really. It's toasted marshmallow and vanilla. This one I have not tried yet. Oop, it's still got the little plastic in it. I haven't even smelled this one, so you're getting my first whiff of this with me. Ooh, interesting. It's a little heart that is in this. This one is very mild. Again, toasted marshmallow and vanilla. It's like a lighter version of the tie-dye vanilla cupcake. Because this has marshmallow and vanilla in it, if you can't get tie-dye cupcake and you want to try something kind of sweet and with that vanilla in it, toasted marshmallow and vanilla is a good option. The fact that I can use the regular ones that aren't sensitive is huge for me. So let's talk about these little guys. This is what really got me hooked on this brand on the website. When I got this first order of the tie-dye cupcake, cinnamon and cider, and toasted marshmallow and vanilla, they have sample sizes of the deodorant you can buy that are only like three bucks. Here's what I like about these. I keep one of these in my purse at all times. They're so small that it's really easy to keep it in your purse or you can keep it in your car, but you don't want it to melt. I wanted to try a couple of the other scents. And what's great is... You can get one that you know you'll like, and if you want to try some of the other scents, you can get these small ones and try them. If you like them, you can get the big size. Then you keep the little size in your purse or your car, and also absolutely perfect for travel. These are also like the cutest little stocking stuffers. So this is your stocking stuffer awareness thing. Stocking stuffers. I would give these to everyone if I had anyone's stockings to stuff. I have my husband's, but I do actually get him stuff like this. The first order I did when I got these first fall scents, I got these two. I have not smelled either of these yet. Oh my God, this one's so good. Okay, Cashmere and Rain is straight up spa scent. It's exactly like what you would think it would be. It smells like some of my Goose Creek candles that are like the, uh, kind of like an aromatherapy smell. That's what... Um, cashmere and rain is. So if you like that, almost like that clean laundry smell, cashmere and rain. Oh my god, I just realized something. It's not rose, it's rosé. And there's clearly a wine glass on it. It kind of smells like a mimosa. Oh my god, I'm gonna wear this today. Oh, that's good. I think this one was sold out too, the, in the big size. Yeah, that definitely smells like a rosé. Oh my god, my battery died. Sorry about that. Anyway, rosé, a hit. And I kind of rubbed it in. Um, Oh, these also, they're not sticky. They're not, I put it on my hand right here. Look, it just disappears. They're not sticky. They're not greasy. Also, my, my gothy people, my people who wear all black, I have had zero white residue on my clothing with these. Oh, <gasps> that's huge. That is huge. If you wear all black like I do almost all the time, Sorry, I can't stop smelling this rosé now. Wow, that's crazy. Oh my God. Um, yeah, no white residue on the black clothes. Can highly recommend if you have a problem with that. So let's talk about the order I just got, which is all of this because I got the new teeth. I got toothpaste. I'm just going down my list here. Candy cane toothpaste with fluoride. Uh, rush, rinse, smile. Sodium fluoride, that's it. That's all that's in here. It's fluoride anti-cavity toothpaste whitening. Whitens teeth, freshens breath, fights cavities. I've been dying to try this. I've had this for a few days. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is, that is total candy cane. I can't wait to try this. I'm actually gonna, I had some coffee. I'm gonna go brush my teeth. I'm gonna try this immediately after this video. Should have brushed them first and I could have reported, but I, I wanted to open it and 
accidentally ripped my box. Okay, next, this is kind of cool. They have mini shampoos that are three ounces that you can try. Well, let me talk about the big shampoo I tried first. So this was the first one I got. I loved the warm cider and cinnamon thing. So I got the warm cider and cinnamon shampoo. Look how big this thing is. The thing is they have a sale right now. So I'm not sure what the price is going to be. Right now they have a 30% off sale. That's why I wanted to do this video real quick. Made with love, clean, simple, effective. 10 thoughtful ingredients that let you say bye to dry. Life's complicated enough. Your hair care doesn't have to be. Now, you know, I am a retired hairstylist. I did hair for decades. I like this on the back. What they have here. I'm going to hold it up real quick. So you can see ingredients and what it is or what it actually means. So it says ingredient, water, what it actually means. You know this one. They have ingredient, loramidopropyl betaine, cleanser derived from plant oils. And so they have like one, two, three. The first three are cleansers derived from plant oils, sodium citrate, food grade salt for pH balance, citric acid, food grade acid for pH balance, fragrance is warm cider and cinnamon, sodium benzoate, food grade salt, sodium salicylate, I can never say that, sodium salt, polyquaternium 10, high hair detangler derived from cellulose, formulated without sulfated surfactants, which is a good thing. Directions, lather, sing, rinse, repeat. So that's it. And it tells you what everything is on there. I love it. Thoughtfully made 10 ingredients, as I said a hundred times. The smell of this, oh my God. I liked it so much. I got a second shampoo because I'm halfway through the first one and I got the body wash. <laughs> so I can just walk around smelling like warm cinnamon and cider. <gasps> they smell so good. I know everybody wants a transition to like the Christmas scents right now, but man, I still, this is just, it's still warm cider and cinnamon. You know, you have hot mold wine and warm ciders all through Thanksgiving and all that, and all through December even. Hot toddies, that kind of um, smell, like that just warm, oh. So this has the same thing on the back. Made clean, made with love, clean, simple, effective. Ingredient, what it actually means. The backs are very simple to these. If you don't like things that are all chemically, these are great. Also, this is sulfate-free, paraben-free, dye-free, so you don't have the fake colors in it and it's phthalate free. Same thing, water, and then it has a cleanser derived from coconut oil, sodium chloride, and they tell you why it's in here. Table salt to thicken the body wash. There's a sodium l'oreal sarcosinate, cleansing salt. Then there's another cleanser derived from coconut oil. Then there's warm cider and cinnamon. Sodium salt, food grade salt, food grade acid for pH balance. Citric acid is a very safe thing and it's food grade. So it's something you eat, uh, okay? You put it, if you look in most things that has citric acid, all it does is, you know, it's a, you have things like that to raise and lower pH balances. So that's what they're using for that. And these are also all cruelty-free, which I love. And if you read this, everything in here, it's it doesn't say it's vegan, but knowing my ingredients, there's nothing in here that is not vegan. The next one I got, I haven't smelled this yet. Uh-oh, hold on. They put really nice little tape on here so that it doesn't pop open in the box. It was packaged really well when I got it. This is a little thing, but let me just bring this up. They tape it closed with this. And here's what I love about this. When you peel this tape off, it doesn't leave sticky residue goo all over it. Am I the only one who hates that? When you peel a tape off and then there's like stick them all over your bottle and you grab it and your hand sticks to it. I hate that. Okay, so this is spiked eggnog. I have not smelled this yet. Oh! <gasps> Oh my God, it really smells like spice, spiked eggnog. <laughs> oh my God. It has a very sweet, like milky smell to it. Um, Yeah, definitely eggnog. It has that like cinnamon, vanilla, milky kind of like, ooh. Oh, I got to try this one. I'm going to try this one when I shower today. This one actually smells really good. So this is one of my holiday ones I got. So they had a holiday mini trio, and then they sent me something as a gift. They sent me a little mini as a gift, and I'm just trying to figure out which one it is. I ordered the holiday mini trio, which is a great way. It's a great stocking stuffer. I got a mini of warm cider and cinnamon, again, to keep in the purse if I need it. These are the holiday scents. So let's go over the holiday scents. I got Yule Log. I'm really... Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Every time I smell one, I'm like, this might be my new favorite. 
What you don't want to do is have a favorite that's one of the limited editions, because then if it is, buy as many as you can. Oh my god. This is to You know what I like about these? They smell like really high quality candles. I think that's why I like these so much. This smells just like one of my Christmas candles. Again, this is not one of the... These are not the um, sensitive formula. These are the regular formula. But that, it has like... It's woody, it's smoky, it's pine. Just a nice warm Christmassy smell. It's like this smells what you think. If you could say Christmas, the word Christmas, make a smell... Yule Log is it. And then I have Sugar Cookie. Sugar Cookie, I'm I'm just saying, smells identical to Tide Dye Vanilla Cupcake. Hold on. Nope, there's something different. Mm. This is definitely sweeter. This doesn't have the smokiness of the toasted marshmallow and vanilla. But it has, as my friend Jeremy is fond of saying about candles, general baked goods smell. Well, I'm going to put a little bit on my hand because then I can really smell it. it smells like sugar cookie. Uh, I'm going to give you a, I'm going to give you a, uh, with scents and trying to describe scents on YouTube when you clearly can't smell what I'm talking about, I like to give you a visualization. You know the Pillsbury sugar cookies that you buy? Those rolls, or now they have them in a little thing, but you know the roll of sugar cookies and you cut it open? That's what it smells like. This smells exactly like Pillsbury sugar cookie dough. Oh my God, that's really nice. Mm, good. Okay, so last one, candy cane. So I got the candy cane toothpaste. I also got the candy cane deodorant. This is your basic candy cane peppermint. If you like a mint, like a candy cane, this is probably, you know what, I would wear this to the gym because it's going to be very cooling feeling and smelling. It has that cooling thing. This is probably going to go in my gym bag. Let's do a very, very quick... Jeremy would yell at me if I didn't do this. Let's do a very quick tier list of what I have. I'm going to give you my top three. I think Yule Log is my favorite. I'm kind of surprised at that myself, but I think Yule Log's my favorite. I would say second, I'm going to go with Warm Cider and Cinnamon. And surprisingly, I'm going to say Rosé for my third. And it's on my nose. Oh my God, it's on my nose. I do have to tell you, when you smell it in here, it has a weird smell, but when it's on your skin, it is delicious. People going to want to be licking your armpits if you're into that sort of thing. No judgment, no judgment. So I would say my top three, Yule Log, Warm Cider and Cinnamon, Rosé, Honorable Mention Candy Cane. Because this is your gym bag scent. This is your, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to be stinky. I'm going to be hot. I'm going to be sweaty. Put on some candy cane. It's nice and cooling. There you go. All right. And then I got one more thing to show you. I need to try to get this tape off without messing up my nails. I'm just kind of trying to peel it up. I like that they use a tape that doesn't leave sticky goo all over the containers. Thank you, Native. Maybe they'll sponsor one of my videos someday. Who knows? I would love that because I love them. Oh my God, I can't wait to try this. So they also have small little travel like trial sizes in the shampoos. So I got the Holiday Hydration Shampoo and I got the Candy Cane. So I have the Candy Cane Shampoo, I have the Candy Cane Deodorant and the Candy Cane Toothpaste. Now, let it be said, I'm not a huge fan of candy canes. I'm just not, I mean, they're all right if you're in the mood, but this Candy Cane scent I love. It's very cool. It's very clean. It doesn't have any weird um, side scents to it. You know, there's no weird after scent or it's not overly sweet. I don't know who is doing their blends for their scents, but they're a genius and they're killing it. But yeah, if you can get your hands on these, if you got some money, I try to find things that A, I know I'm going to use. B, I totally stand by as far as them being good for the environment, healthy, cruelty-free, vegan, etc., etc. And companies kind of with a conscience that I feel are like smaller companies, not like the huge Procter & Gamble, all that stuff that uses all the gross you know, ingredients and all the things that are cancer-causing and all the things I don't want on my body. I try to use a lot of clean beauty and things like that. So if that is your gig... 
check out Native. I absolutely love it. You can find a lot of codes for it. If you know Ryland Adams, who is the, the ever so fam famous slash infamous YouTuber Shane Dawson, The Sip, his podcast, The Sip, I think is a coupon code for Native. Also, I believe H3, H3 had a coupon code for Native. That's why I got this stuff. The last time, the second order I did, or no, the first order I did, I think I did with H3's thing. But right now I just saw that they have a huge Black Friday 30% off thing going on. So definitely, if you want to get some good stocking stuffers, and now keep in mind, give these to people who you're not, you don't want to be like, hey, um, you smell, uh, and here's some deodorant. <laughs> I'm going to do that to Jeremy. Hey, dude, you smell. Here's some deodorant. Don't give these to people. Like, you don't want to offend people and be like, you know, you might want to think about some deodorant. You know, maybe you want some body wash. But if you have friends or family who, you know, love stuff like this or your family's trying to get into clean beauty or just staying away from all the nasty ingredients, staying more earth friendly with using the sulfate and the paraben free and the phthalate free, it's so much better for you. It's better for the environment. It's not going back into the earth and the water and all that stuff. Great stuff to try. I really, really like it. And I am obsessed with this Yule Log smell. I am. I was going to wear like candy cane or rosé today. I think Yule Log might be the one after the shower. Thinking like, now I want to go and find the Yule Log. And, oh. I, I'm stocking up on this because also I should tell you I got the, the shampoo and the body wash because we have two showers in my house. My husband uses the one downstairs and I use one upstairs. So I'm getting him the... I got the warm cider and cinnamon for him and I'm probably going to get another body wash for him. Although I might just give him the spiked egg nog. He might like that. I'm going to look at the sale because I think I'm going to get more of the Yule Log. And I think I'm going to get one for Jeremy. So that being said, that's my native... Uh, review. I did get a little card in this. It says native, a holiday treat just for you. Our holiday launch is around the corner. We want to get you the first with what we have in store. This was when I ordered these before, right when they first um, sent it, but it said, we hope these mini products help you ring in the season. If you like what you smell, text holiday to 95069 to learn more about the holiday collection. Cheers, native team. So they have, I think it's called the campfire or the the cabin something collection. They have different collections. So go check those out. Check this out. If you are a person who has problems with scents and you're very sensitive, absolutely I can recommend. If And I even got the Cotton and Lily, but I believe they have like a sensitive unscented. And they have unscented everything too, so don't worry about that. But the sensitive native worked great for me. But the fact, like I said, that I have been using the regular ones and I don't have a problem says a lot about their brand because I've used other brands that I just break out like crazy. I have not had a problem with any of their stuff. But if you are sensitive, if you don't like scents and a lot of heavy smells, you can try the Cotton and Lily. They really need to have testers in the store, don't they, for these? I have really enjoyed this Cotton and Lily. I think I'm going to go back to this in the spring, possibly, but I'll see what spring scents they have out. But they come out with seasonal scents, too, which I love, because, you know, you go to the store and you get your secret or your whatever, and... It's like the same things all the time. I love that they come out with these limited editions. They come out with these like seasonal things. And if you're a candle smell person, you know, scent fragrance person like I am, you will probably love these because it's like you're wearing your scented candles. That's the best way I can explain it. They really have a Goose Creek candle like that those really yummy scents to them. But it just reminds me of that, where they've just really nailed it with the seasonal things. Hello everyone, editing me here. I was at Target with my hubby this past Sunday and they had all the little mini sizes of the native deodorants and I found one that I did not have and I really wanted to try because I know I'm gonna be giving a few away. This is the native mistletoe, fresh mistletoe. Not just mistletoe, fresh mistletoe because you don't want stale mistletoe. Quick smell. I like it. It's hard to explain the scent. It's got like a green scent to it. It has kind of a green scent. That's the best I could say. I don't know if I would necessarily like go mistletoe with it, but it has like a minty green, slightly, very slightly mint green scent to it. But I really like this one a lot. It smells really, really good. If you're at Target, I think these were $2.99 at Target and they had a whole end cap of them. They had a whole display. So if you're, you don't want to do a big, you know, 
30% off $30 plus and free shipping and all that. You don't need that much stuff. And you just want to grab these as stocking stuffers. They do have them at Target. Go check them out. I really like this one a lot. I think this is going to go in number four in my tier list. Right behind um, Candy Cane, I think. No, maybe in front of Candy Cane. It's more interesting smelling than Candy Cane. Candy Cane is straight up peppermint. This is it's a little more complex of a scent. I really like this one. I'm glad I got it. I think this is going to be the one that I'm going to keep in my purse, honestly. Maybe candy cane, maybe this one. It's hard to say. Oh my God. Why don't I just switch them every week? Yeah, I'm going to do that. Anyway, that's it. I just wanted to pop in and say I found this and yeah, go check out these at Target. Great stocking stuffers. $2.99. You can't beat it. Just don't offend anyone thinking that you're saying they smell. Although I think that's kind of funny. So if you're down with that, offend people. Tell them they smell. Get them some deodorant. So anyway, I hope you like this. Comment below. Let me know if you've heard of Native. Let me know if you've tried them. I absolutely love them. If you want me to report back on anything else, I can. But I mean, I've used everything except the body wash. I've used the deodorant. I've used the shampoo. I have not used the body wash. And I have not used the toothpaste yet. Sensitive for my sensitive people. Get the sensitive unscented. If you're really, if you can't do smells and you want to get a good deodorant, and if you do tend to break out little bumps and hives and things, try the sensitive unscented first. And then maybe you can get one of the smaller ones in regular and see if you're okay with it. That's my advice. But I've had no problems. I love this stuff. I love this stuff. Native, if you're watching, please be my very first sponsored video. I would love that. I know I'm a little tiny channel, but I am like obsessed with your products. I, when I relocated to this house out middle of nowhere in 2009, I said I want to have a green home and I used it as an opportunity to start my life like as a reset and only use green home type of eco-friendly, body-friendly kind of products as much as possible. Also, you know, my husband has asthma and I have asthma, so we're very sensitive to smells and I don't have any problems with these, neither does he. That's a good thing. He can. He smelled the warm cider and cinnamon and was like getting a good whiff of it. Didn't trigger his asthma. He didn't have any problems. So that's also a big bonus and a big kudos to Native for not making asthma people go... I mean, we would instantly sneeze or feel like a tightening in our throat if it was a fake icky scent and a cheap scent. And these are not. These, they smell expensive, okay? Even though they're not... Go check out the sale and I will see you in the next video. The prices, I'm wary of listing prices because they're going to have sales going on. So my advice is just go check out the website. It'll be below in the description. I hope you like this and please, if you do, like and subscribe. Check out my giveaways that are going to be going on. I'm doing Vlogmas again. This is the beginning of Vlogmas. Starting a little bit early this year. Here we are. Welcome to Vlogmas early. I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.